Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, they're asking us to find the nth term of a sequence. Well, what that means is we need to represent somehow any term in the sequence, so we call it randomly the nth term. So here's our sequence. It's an infinite sequence. It starts with zero. Now we have one fourth, two ninth, three sixteenth, four twenty fifth, and so forth. Notice that in the numerator we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth. In the denominator we have 4, 9, 16, 25. That looks like the square of an integer. So let's rewrite the sequence a little bit. So here what we're going to do is write as 0, 1 over 2 squared, 2 over 3 squared, 3 over 4 squared, 4 over 5 squared, and you can see the pattern. Notice that in the denominator, the number is one bigger than the numerator. It is also squared. And notice that it starts at zero, not at one. Typically, sequences would start at one, not at zero. So if we're going to let the numerator be represented by the letter n, any random integer, and we want n to start at one, then this would be n minus one. So we could say that this would be n minus one. Um, for the numerator, if 1 equals n minus 1, then how do we re represent the denominator? So let's concentrate on this term right here. So if 1 is equal to n minus 1, then 2 is equal to n, 1 bigger than n minus 1. Since 2 is 1 more than 1, n is 1 more than n minus 1. And then if the denominator is squared, you can see that in the numerator we have n minus 1. In the denominator we have 2 squared. So this can be written as n minus 1 over n squared. Of course, that is appropriate for that second term. But does it hold for all the other terms? Well, we could say that 2 is n minus 1. Then 1 more than 2 is 3, which would be n, and n is squared. If 3 is equal to n minus 1, then 4 is 1 more or n, and it's squared. So it seems to work for every consecutive term. It's a general way of expressing any of the terms, but how about the first term? Well, notice that we can write this as 1 squared in the denominator, because it's 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, and 1 can be represented by n, and n minus 1 would be 0. So that also works for the first term. It looks like we have found a very nice way of expressing any term in the sequence. So this is called the nth term because it represents every single term in the sequence, no matter which one we pick. So we picked one and it seems to work. We picked the next one, it works. The third one, it works. The fourth one, it works. We can assume it worked for every term after that. Does it work for the very first one, which is a little bit different? The answer is yes. So therefore we say it works for every term and it's a good representation for the end term of that particular sequence. And that is how it's done. Nth term. Nth term. Nth Okay. Isn't that what they're not You should take <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll pronounce it as. This